Hi there. I'm about to uh, go for a little ride on this scooter that I bought. I did a video on it a bit earlier on. Uh, a fairly cheap one. Cost somewhere between six and seven hundred dollars with a lithium battery and a 500 watt motor. And it's not bad. It's not very powerful. It's uh, I thought it might be a little bit better than it is. Uh, the ad says it can climb up 25 degree slopes, but that's a lot of rubbish. Uh, it can do 40 k's an hour, that's a lot of rubbish. And it can, uh, the battery will last for about 40 k's, which is also a lot of rubbish. If you get 10 k's out of it, you're doing very, very well. But for the money, it, it goes along quite well. It zooms. Uh, I, I did it with a GPS. The speedo showed 40, the GPS showed 20. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit of a bit of a rip off as far as the ad goes. Uh, you know, it's claims. But anyway, it, for for the money, you you can't really buy a lithium battery scooter very cheaply. Uh, it's a little hub motor scooter, uh, it's only got the rear wheel, the front wheel is, isn't uh, motorised. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take for a little drive, Let's see how we go, I'll show you how it zooms. We're about to start off on a uh, 10 degree hill, this is uh, the uh, road out the front of where I live and uh, straight away it's a bit of a slope and I've tried it before and it struggles to get up here this is certainly not 25 degrees like they claim it to be anyway I'll show you how I'm about to go now hop on and let's go that's about full strength it just struggles and I've actually got to bend down and scoot it, use it as a scoot along thing, give it a bit of an assist with my foot. Slopes a little bit less steep just here but it gets steep again in a minute but like I say it's no more than about 10 degrees and she's about to come to a complete standstill. I've got to assist it by scooting. Sorry about that but uh, the camera gets a little bit bumpy like that, but that's all it can do. Okay, now we're on pretty much level ground. I've got to get onto a footpath here. I don't want to ride on the road. Still going uphill. Not as steep, probably five degrees. Now it's flat. Uphill again. Certainly nowhere near the power of the uh, little ad for the scooter claims. It's struggling, struggling up a very slight slope. I haven't uh, helped it yet. Suspension's not bad on this little thing, it's very basic suspension. It's still struggling, the slope's probably five degrees here, it manages five degrees. Ten degrees it probably doesn't, and certainly not 25 degrees. Okay, I'm going. On flat ground goes quite well. Cross of a set of uh, lights, pedestrian crossing. Ooh, the brakes are very squeaky, which is a bit annoying. And away we go. This is uh, flat and downhill in fact. 
scoots along quite well. I imagine there'll be a bit of wind noise, you won't be able to hear this too well. Very quiet, motor hums along quite nicely. It's very underpowered though. I would like it to go a little, have a little bit more power. Well, I'm coming to a, a builder's area here, which is a bit tricky. There's some building going on, down to some rough ground. Got through that. Brakes on it, a uh, disc brakes. Don't work too badly, cable brakes. Going downhill, coach downhill with the downhill runs very, very well. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I'll stop here. Have a look at that. Freight train going past. Oh, that could be a kilometre long. I'll leave it there. I won't uh, wait to the end of it. Okay, continue on the journey. Yeah, well, I'm continuing the ride, but uh, not on the footpath. I've changed venue. Footpath was getting a bit too crowded, a few pedestrians and things, thought I'd give it a miss there. Back into the uh, park here where uh, I've ridden my previous scooter, the uh, older 350 watt one. This is uh, one of the bitumen roads in the park and I'm riding towards the uh, lake. I've ridden that way a few times before. This uh, scooter gets a bit more speed up than the old one. It's, uh, road here is the track's fairly flat. I'm probably doing about uh, I don't know, 18, 18 to 20 k's an hour, maybe. I'll just ride around to where the lake is. Been here a few times before. Very pretty lake, I'll stop here for a tick. continue on our way I'll just go up a few tracks I don't need to do too much riding here to, for the for the video I'll duck around the place I have ridden on a few of the dirt roads around here the little tracks but it doesn't really like it. Uh, the wheels are probably a little bit small and the suspension's not real great, it tends to clunk a little bit. Not too bad on the bitumen, minor bumps you can cope with okay. Now this is fairly flat but now well it was fairly flat I'm starting to go uphill a bit and it slows down considerably yeah I don't know I was expecting a little bit more power out of this especially looking at the ads on eBay that uh, have a little diagram showing that it can climb a 
25 degree angle. No way. That pro ang that that was probably a maybe a five degree slope. I'm getting sick of mentioning that actually, but now we're speeding up now because I'm going downhill. Love's going downhill. But even so, could probably go a little bit faster, even downhill. She's not, uh, she's not real fast. Once again, the eBay ad claims speeds up to 40 k's an hour, which is a lot of rubbish. If I get 20, I'm doing really well. I'll stop here, actually. There's a little, uh, I won't bother going on this road here. It's quite a long road, goes for k's through the park. I'll go down here, this might be a bit more interesting. There's a little track that winds its way onto another road. I better walk it, there's a bit of a drop here, clunk clunk. Oh, clunk, okay. Let's go. Here we go. Downhill slightly, so going fairly quickly. There's a bump. Anyway, that's probably enough of, uh, of uh, video to show you how this little scooter performs. Like I say, it's not too bad. On flat roads, quite good. I'll go around the corner here. Zoomy. Quite a stable thing. I've made a few mods to it. The uh, rear wheel wasn't very well aligned. They made a bit of a mess of one of the worlds. And the actual pivot arm that it sits on was bent and welded at a bit of a funny angle. And I had to modify that. Had to do some filing of the holes and put some spaces in to kind of uh, uh, make it. G'day. Make it run parallel to the uh, the, the back of the scooter so that uh, the back wheel lines up. It tended to uh, go off at a bit of an angle, not much, probably two three degrees, but not in line with the front wheel. Whoa, where am I going? Ah, uh, yeah. Do the round of the park here. And then down this little track. There it is, bit of dirt road work. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Ah, not too bad, it copes with a, a little bit of rough stuff, but... That's a, that's a, hey, for the money it's not too bad. I just wished it uh, would do what the ads, the eBay ads said it would. So, you get taken in a bit like that. Go cross country a little bit. There's a little bit of a path just here. Clunk, 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 clunkety clunk, uphill slightly. Let's stop for the vehicles. And across this other road. And 
Oh, I don't want to tackle that. And back to where I started from, across the little bridge. <laughs>